This is a Shop Saver CNC plasma table, and that is quarter inch copper. Find out. This is quarter inch mild steel. This is Michael's font. This is not Michael's font. He likes that for obvious reasons. Looks good. It's gonna do the job. So now we figure out what settings to use for copper versus steel, because they handle heat very differently. Well, I use the two pieces of aluminum, yeah, so it should be close. That's a 65 amp tip? Yep. Did you tool pass for aluminum? Yep. All right. X, Y, zero. Book settings. So we're gonna use book settings for quarter inch aluminum based off of a recommendation from Ben over at Shop Saver. Now, if this doesn't work, it's not Ben's fault. He said it had admittedly been a long time since he tried it, but we got four corners we're not gonna use, so we got four chances to learn. Here we go. Total disaster. Didn't have enough heat input. So I think next we try it like quarter inch. I think we should try quarter inch steel settings in this yeah. corner. Dude, that that was wild. I was getting like hit with stuff. Yeah. Did they go through it all? Some, but not much. I think we try quarter inch steel, and I, I think it's actually going to take more heat than quarter inch steel. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do an 85 amp tip or a 65 amp? Let's stick with 65 for now. We've got three more tests. Alright. So now we're gonna use mild steel. This is mild steel settings with a 65 amp tip. Correct. No modifications, just as we I already tell you it's not working. Yeah. Stop it. That same file. Just remove the first letter and do 3 8 setting. Right. Copper sucks heat. It is an incredible thermal conductor as well as electrical conductor. So I think it's just requiring a ton more heat input to achieve the same amount of work. So that was quarter inch settings and it barely budged. So I, I think we we need to use like three eighths or half inch settings, and we probably probably need to use an 85. Inch. So the cut speed is in half essentially. Good. We were close on that last one. It pierced more than the prior. We're really close. I think we need to slow stop it there. Okay. I think we just need to bump down the travel speed right here. I'm gonna go 35 inches per minute. Okay. Let's see how that does. We're super close. Look, actually, cut quality looks pretty good, actually. What did the settings end up being? So we lowered it. It's the same settings as 3 8 inch mild steel on a 65 amp tip. We made the pierce delay one second instead of 0.7. We made the cut speed 30. Ended up being 30 instead, instead of 44. 44. So I think we do a full OD now in this corner. Yeah. And just evaluate it. I'll actually clean it up and we'll see what it looks like. Not touching it. Table. You know, Ben was hesitant about heat, but this water table is really helping. Yeah. Yeah, you out. Huh. Yeah. Like holding it back over into it. 
It's just coming right off. Oh, that's cool. That's mega cool. Whoa. So that's what we just did. That's the back side. Dude, that is... That's pretty incredible. OD in stencil font. Mad cool. The Wait. only problem is the corner bevels are really drastic, but I mean, that's it's gonna happen. Yeah. But when you compare it to this. You know, it's, it is worse than mild, but only at the top for yeah. some reason. It's the same. I mean, it, it's even the, so the little parts I was worried about are these little bump outs. Yeah. It's the difference between your connecting piece and the yeah. actual middle. You can see that. You can see it. That's pretty nuts. I'm going to save this as a separate configuration for quarter inch yeah. brass. So, copy. Quarter. Have you done this before successfully? Yeah. Okay. Quarter inch copper. Uh, copper. Now the only thing that's lying in the grass to ruin our day is <clears throat> if somehow something changes as the whole, if the whole thing gets heat soaked, but with the water table, I don't see that happening. You can also do it in parts. Good. Like do a word. Stop. Do a word. Stop. Whoa, man. Uh, good. Feels great because uh, that's a very expensive piece of metal and I didn't have a whole lot of opportunity to do extensive testing. So it feels really good. Uh, and now we know we can do quarter inch copper and do it clean. Do you understand the pressure that I'm under? Do you? Do you even understand? It's only like a, what, $200 plate? Two hundred dollars. That's two board games. One board game. Two board <laughs> games. Maybe four. Oh, oh wow. I don't know why I turned into Mickey Mouse. Oh. It's gonna fail spectacularly. I want to capture it. Uh, so we did some tests on the copper plate in the three of the four corners, and what we ended up with is we had to slow down how long it, or excuse me, give it more time to pierce all the way through the plate, and then slow down how long. How fast? How, yeah, excuse me, how fast it will cut um, because copper, what's the word I'm looking for? Copper it gets is rid of heat. It's an incredible heat sink. It actually yeah. absorbs heat, heat really well. Um, and because it absorbs heat really well, it's sitting in a pool of water. I mean, heat sinks are made out of copper, like computer heat sinks are made out of copper for a reason. Uh, they, they absorb and dissipate heat really fast. They're very thermally efficient. So it absorbs the heat from the plasma tape, from the plasma arc and then it dissipates that heat into the water table really fast. So uh, this is just one collection of settings that we've found to work so far. So let's see if we can cut the actual plaque out. to get it to a decent baseline, but I'd like to do something a little nicer with the finish. So I'm gonna do some linear sanding with this. See how that goes.
it's soft but incredibly durable at the same time and like it's like soft but dense right it's like lead man that's wild thing I can think of is getting like a die grinder inside the here cleaning up some of those rough spots or a file file probably makes a little more sense but that's kind of nuts <laughs> <laughs> 